Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Sarcastic Barman, and welcome to my channel. Look, new hoodie thing available down below. Pratt Week on the back. Awesome. Um, this week's video was, it, it really confused me. I was going to have it all planned out, and I was like, yeah, we're going to do this, and we're going to start recording. And it's Wednesday now, and we're going to do recording, and yeah, Wednesday recording day. And then this sort of happened. Yeah. So, um, that was Sleeping Warrior's channel. That's a bit odd. Very unsure what to make of that. And I thought his, if his channel was going to go, it would have gone earlier in the year when he was talking about Tiffany Dover and all that shit. So, quite surprised that it's now gone in March. Very odd. Um, so that's put me in a tizzy on what to do for a video. I thought, oh, we'll cover some Sleeping Warrior stuff. We'll go for one of the backup channels. He doesn't have backups. Um... Which you'd think if he had a couple of strikes or things already or some sort of notification off YouTube that he was being a naughty boy, he would have backed things up and made another channel or something. But obviously not. Oh, that's a shame. Diddums. Oh, well, we'll roll the intro and we'll cover the other twat I've got to cover for tonight. Welcome, everybody, to Flat Earth Nation. It is a Flat Earth Nation. Don't let them tell you anything else unless they're willing to debate you in a fair and honest way. Yep, yeah, so this is Flat Earth Nation, Gold Age Past. And I showed the video to my wife, and her simple response was, What drugs is he on? I want some. Because, fuck my life. That, that, that was literally her response to this video. That's fun. Um, but I'll put out there, I'll quite happily debate you, Flat Earth Nation, Gold Age Past, or we'll just call you Flat. That, that'll do. We're starting debates on the EIE network. We, I'm sure we can sort something out. And it will be a fair debate. You won't get muted. But you will have to actually provide evidence. Which, based on this video, is going to be amusing as fuck. And I'm ready to debate this. This is finally... The true flat earth map. I'm not sure about you lot, but I don't think that's a flat earth map. I, I really don't. In, in fact, it may possibly be a rough interpretation of um, what is now Mexico City, but at the time obviously wasn't Mexico City. Technococulacan. Technolocalacan. Technolobaladabadan. That one. So, um, yeah, the uh, the Aztec capital. Oh, how? Why? What? Who? Drugs? Map? What? No. Right here. And all of the floating cities. Ankavat probably is too, but I just discovered it with this last night in the while I was doing this video here. You know, you check out my videos, but I'm going to keep this one about solving the flat earth map. Well, surely if you want to solve the flat earth map, the first thing you want to do is possibly get a boat, then start sailing places and measuring the distance it, you cover when you sail places. Starting with an interpretation of a city from almost 500 years ago, is probably not the best place to start with a map. Very exciting. Tenochtitlan in the Gulf of Mexico, and this is 1524 is when they're ascribing this to. Mm -mm. Hang on, we know where this came from. Why is your response to it? Uh -uh. It's like, no, these are part of the letters that Cortez sent back to the fucking Nuremberg, to the Holy Roman Empire. You, you you do know research is a thing. You can actually go and see these fucking drawings. If you really want to, you go to Mexico City and see the ruins. I mean, come on, seriously. All right, I've got this picture pulled up now where we can get a closer look at it. It's going to be on a another screen 
Let me point out some of the most fascinating features about the map of our world with the paradise in the middle. Oh, fuck my life. You really are going to draw comparisons to this city and the world. Okay. That's going to be... Yeah. But that that's the temple complex in the middle. J just so you know. Or the river's flowing out. And, you know, it's got a kind of an irregular coastline. And we're going to pay special attention to where, and this is what I didn't pay special attention to in the video last night, the way these come through and come out here. You mean how the bridges connect the city to the coast? Because the city was built basically on an island in a lake. One of five lakes in the area, all interconnected. Learnings. Let, let's skip a bit and see when he actually focuses on anything that's horrendously more stupid than it already is. This one leads to church-like. This one leads to tower something. All this video is reminding me of at the moment is the Rick and Morty episodes where they do the um, interdimensional cable. Because all the skits and interdimensional cable are just literally made up on the spot. And then they do the animation. It's like, okay. <laughs> I'm expecting Anson his eyes Johnson to come out and go, I'm Anson your eyes Johnson and I've got sales. Oh, fuck. What has my life become? These two join near this. Something comes up and out right here. Nope, that was the magical aqueduct that helped supply all the drugs to the city. Wait, no, water. Supplied water to the city. The double-headed eagle. What? So in 1524, I don't think the Masons were there yet. Just If you ever see my reply video, just look at your double-headed eagle again. Just open up another internet window and just search for Charles V, Emperor, Imperial Flag. That, that's all we're going to say to you and we'll let you draw the conclusions afterwards. If you really, really want, you could double check who Cortez was sending the letters back to. And then possibly, possibly... Your brain will explode when you realize the level of stupidity in your sentence just then. Goes up to a city that has waters above and waters below. Good God. It's just, it's just mind-numbing. On the plus side, this makes a difference from DeBay's mind-numbingly stupid. We've got different mind-numbingly stupid... That'd be the hill of the star. Please look things up. Fuck my life. Let's skip a bit. He said he's going to do other maps. So if I keep having to listen to him talk about this and just fuck it all over, it's going to drive me insane. So is a map on a floating body of water really that strange of a thing? So that's Pietro Vesconti's Map on Monday. And if you look closely down in the bottom... Uh, Anglia, so that'll be England, and Scotland above it, and you've got islands to the side of it, which means that's the European sort of area there. Um, yeah, so 1325, the known sort of world. I'm not sure where you're going with this one, but we'll soon find out. You know, we've got a lot of maps that show different jagged edges, you know, things that, you know, we've got to start looking at even the here and here why are some places different colors and things like that what do you mean jagged edges you know the green is the water don't you the white is the land and the green is the water you don't oh god please god do not tell me you think it's the other way around and that the green is the land around fuck you do don't you oh my fucking god it could it be that Along with the map, it's a representation of, you know, where, where would the eye be? Probably leading out, you know, from here. I'll show you what I think it is. 
Oh, where's that other one? Here you go. Right, okay, that just happened. I'm quite worried at this point. If you're going to actually show an eyeball... Okay. Um, skip. Several days later. So, he just completely went off the deep end and was comparing eyeballs and pictures of eyeballs to the Flat Earth map. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end that video there. It's a bit of a weird one this week. I think I'll make a second one because I feel let down by this guy. The first five minutes were so promising for stupidity and then it just turned into the f fuck what the hell. Uh, so, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe down below. Big thank you to my members and patrons who make all these things possible. And don't forget, go check out, look, newness. Newness. Uh, and enjoy the rest of the night here on Lizzy Wibbaboos. Uh, and pub chat later this evening as well. Thank you very much. Good night.